All right, so this is going to be the part two of our three-part video tutorial on security groups and roles. And uh, just to do a quick recap, so in the previous video, we saw that a group can have users and records assigned to it, and then it has a role assigned to it as well, can have a role assigned to it, which determines what the users can do inside the group in terms of the records. So for example, we can view, but we cannot edit. So when this role is assigned to this group, this is what these people can do. They can view, but they cannot edit the records. So now we're going to make it slightly more interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to add a second group and we'll see how the two interact between each other. So let's jump right in. The theory here is going to be that we're creating a group of rather a group for a department that sells the salt related products. So this is the candy, this is the salt. We'll add salt salespeople and then the salt products into the group and add the same role as the candy group. So let's jump right in. We're gonna go to the admin panel here. We're gonna navigate the way that I do it is through the user management. I go down to the role management. Here I am going to select create, oops, no, not role. We're creating a group, so security groups create a security group. I'm going to call it salt group like so. I'm going to click save. Then once this is done, I am going to assign the same role as what the other group has. So the role will dictate what the users can or cannot do. The next thing that I will do, so now that this part is done, I have assigned this role to the newly created group. I will add the users. So in this case, I have a uh, a sold salesperson that's been pre-created for this purpose. So now that we have the salesperson added, we're gonna go and add the product also. So we're going down to inventory. We're selecting the block of salt, which is a, obviously a salt related product. And then we are selecting the security group. I'll do it through here. We can also do it through the list view, but uh, we'll do it like so this time. So the sold group is now associated with this product. So we have the product, the user and the role. All of them are now done. So let's log in as that uh, salesperson person and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in as the salt salesperson. We can see it here. If I click on the inventory tab, I can see that the block of salt is the only product that I can see. Why? Because that's the only product that's part of the salt group. But the role is shared between the two groups. So that means that uh, the users from the sold group and the users from the candy group can only do what is dictated by this same role. So we can reuse the same role, which means that they can view, but they cannot edit. So if I open up the block of salt, I can see here that the edit button is uh, still disabled. Same thing as if I was a candy person viewing a candy product. The view would be available, but the edit would not. Now to make things a little bit more uh, interesting, we're going to add a new user, but the new user is going to have access to both groups. So that's important to keep in mind is that one user can have access to two groups, two or more groups, as many groups as you want. So to do that, I'm going to log out as the sold salesperson. I'm going to go to the admin section, user management. I have my salt and candy accountant. So that's the person that's going to be in charge of the two groups. I'll select the groups that I want the person to be part of. I'll do select. And then we can see that the person is now part of two groups. So now the person can view, but not edit what's inside both of these groups. So let's give it a quick look here. <clears throat> so now I have logged in as the salt and candy accountant. Let's go to the inventory tab here. And then I can see the salt products and the candy products also. So this is the uh, slightly more complicated setup. In the next video, we'll see the really uh, interesting things which makes it the more versatile and more complicated to understand as well. But I think with these two videos, you are now well prepared to, to actually absorb that information. Thank you so much. If you found this helpful, please do leave a like and have an awesome day.